What is up guys? This is Vinge here bringing you guys yet another video and this is a reaction video of course and the homie Dino actually recommended that I check this out and it's called Employees Teaches Boss a Lesson. I mean this could be a parody, this could be something that is funny and related to real life stuff. We're going to look into this and find out what's tough about it, right? Let's see what's good. Is this video for tough? Let's find out. Let's get it. So one of the things that I already noticed, look at what it says. It's already getting spicy because you got this guy like, are these guys stupid? And you know what? A boss usually does some narcissistic stuff like that. So let's get into it. Let's go. Are you guys stupid? Are you guys I'm stupid the boss, and the boss? Do what I say. Yep, that's a boss right, mentality, sir, bro. The boss. What newbie? Oh, he called him a newbie. You're right, sir. <laughs> you are the boss. Mm -hmm. The boss. You he think he's got the sauce. That's right. Wait, that's pause it. Said it without hesitation. Bosses do that. Bosses say spit without hesitation. They like, nobody's going to step up to me. Nobody's going to get swole against me. I'll just bat them down with the eyebrow. I give them the eyebrow like the rock, bro. That's all they're saying. But that's one of the problems with our world today is when you have bosses with that kind of narcissistic attitude it never turns into anything positive for the people around them it usually negatively impacts them let's get it negatively impacts them like not getting their most wanted five star in genshin impact give it to him he <laughs> keep calling him a new Ooh, he quit don't want to work here Big mistake. Mm. Well, as a new employee, your leadership skills make me concerned. Mm. If you don't mind, before I leave, I'd like to give you some parting words. Uh-oh. I like the editing me? there. I can't wait to hear this. <laughs> Go ahead, you guys. <laughs> I think well, you called him a noob. I don't think you're all bad. Mm. But somewhere down your path, you got lost. Oh, I'm I gonna have to pause it again. I don't know if you guys are seeing that, but like, whatever. That that get off the screen. Um. Anyway, <laughs> now, what he said, it just kind of reached out to me when he said that he didn't start. He probably didn't start off all that bad, and I mean, if you look at life, right? Nobody's born bad. You know, everybody is negatively influenced enough to the point where they do wind up becoming a bad seed or something like that, right? So, I mean, the same thing can apply to bosses. Maybe, you know, they were trying to climb up the corporate ladder, right? And they wind up making it. And they wind up doing things right. But as time goes on, maybe they just get straight up cocky. Or maybe the pressures of being the boss got to them. And now they're feeling like they got to rule the world with an iron fist. And that kind of thinking is like out downright negative. And it just creates this downward spiral, right? Let me keep moving. You used to be a leader, but now you're just a boss. Yep. What's the difference? What's well, the see, difference? A boss says I. Yes! Says we. Preach! Hold up! A boss says I. A leader says we. And think about that. You know, usually when somebody mentions the word I, 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 they're always saying that I'm the one calling all the shots. I'm the one doing everything right. But isn't it supposed to be a group effort? Because a boss has employees. A boss, even though they're, you know, barking orders and everything, they still have employees that does a lot of the heavy lifting for them. So shouldn't it be more of a team effort where it's we work together to get it done? Nothing's, nothing's wrong with saying the word we and like he said bosses are blinded by pride they think that 
they run this and anyone that stands in their way anyone that think they can do better heck to the no they don't realize that everyone has a different skill and some people can do things better than the actual boss but the boss can't accept that food for thought there that's one of the reasons why i feel like american society is failing because you got so many people that's trying to that's trying to be a boss instead of a leader a leader always asks bosses they command yep. See, a boss points fingers mm -hmm. the leader extends a hand and a that's all go. people want Leaders say let's go and let me pause right there think about all right if you're working somewhere think about your um environment right think about that um the climate of uh where you work is it positive is it negative do you work with a leader or do you work with a boss because you can f it's easy to see i know where i work I work with a leader and a leader leads the charge and they help along the way and they make you feel like you created a positive impact. They make you feel like you matter. And I would rather work for a leader than get paid tons and tons of money to work for a boss that thinks less of you. Leaders consider ideas. Yes. Bosses? Say heck no. Mm-hmm. Oh, down. let me stop right Leader. there. Vince McMahon, WWE. I know that has nothing to do with this, but Vince McMahon is a freaking boss. He is not a leader. He doesn't even let his wrestlers try to um, mix things up and come up with storylines of their own to try to make things more different. Or more interesting that's one of the reasons why I feel like the WWE is declining so bad because Vince McMahon is controlling everything and he's too prideful to let some things go I mean I understand that the WWE is his baby but you have to believe in the people that you work with as well you shouldn't just treat them like horses I mean like use them like meat shields and think less of them like they can't hold a candle to you i feel like the wwe would benefit from vince would benefit leaders from watching this bro because leaders give love a boss yeah don't give a what yeah use people abuse people yep leaders groom people they preach senpai and tell them senpai people. leaders have mastered the art of inspiration inspiration Bosses have mastered the art of manipulation a boss yells Hold and up. screams like they're on a, a TV show. Mm -hmm. A leader treats the janitor like the CEO. Let's stop right there. The leader treats a janitor like a CEO. That speaks volumes. Because one of the things that's annoying about American society, it seems like janitors are always looked down upon. But they shouldn't be looked down upon. Because who would want to come to a business that's filthy? I mean, a janitor's task is just as, port just as important as every other task. Because if you have a dirty building... Who wants to come to work? If you have a COVID infested building and people have to come to work and there's no one to help tidy it up, who's going to want to come back there and put themselves in, in an even great, put themselves at an even greater risk? I mean, I mean, this speaks volumes. I mean, people are mistreated every day by their bosses. And I say bosses because they don't have leaders. Boss and leader are two different things. And this can all correlate the streaming content creation where you have streamers and content creators that do terrible things and mistreat their viewers. And it's like it all comes back full circle. And that's one of the reasons why communities become so toxic is because 
of that person and their negative influence. I mean, it speaks volumes. I'm just saying. I know I shouldn't be they stopping, but bro. And know the community comes first. Ah! I did not do a video about that. I, I, uh, hold up. I did not do a video about that. Did not do a video about that. Yes, I did. Where I talked about the importance of community over numbers. Look at this man eating that bootleg generic. Oh, wait. It's not generic. It's organic, but it's still generic. It's generic organic yogurt. I paused it at the right time. Yogurt sucks. I'd rather eat gogurt. Anyway, um... I mean, like, community is important. Community is what drives things. One of the things that I preach is that community comes first because all that other stuff comes later. Like, the benefits comes later. Money comes later. Building a community is more important because of the fact that people is going to want to come see you because they enjoy their products. I mean, enjoy your products, enjoy you. So they will come back to support you. So the whole money thing, that's more of a bonus kind of thing. But when it comes to an actual organization, unfortunately, they need money to thrive. But building that community would create a more lucrative investment. You know, that's one of those things. Been only found in yogurt. <laughs> so only found in yogurt. He put that yogurt have down, boy. Heard of a world boss? I have. Or is it world leader? Ooh. Religious leader, community leader, yes. business leader. Don't you see it? A leader is who you should be. A boss is yes. just meager. Sir, entrepreneurs have a big responsibility. I believe we are the only ones who... And, and a big responsibility. Entrepreneurs do have a big responsibility. Look at our environment right now. Because of all these corrupt entrepreneurs that literally just values the value and money they're the ones responsible for climate change they are practically destroying our world they don't give a doggo about our environment the land that we live on they live they they live for the profit but that's a problem because where are you going to go if we don't have anything to stand on where are we going to go if the land that we're living on is filled with filth or destroyed or cannot be inhabitable, cannot produce food for us? If we take care of the world, the world takes care of us. Just like how if we take care of our car, our car would take care of us. So if we don't take care of those things, it's going to come back to bite us in the Buddha. I'm just saying, if you want to save the world, Make the right choices. Just like you may have people that does like content creation, right? Or does streaming and, and they get upset because their community is toxic. Well, guess what, buddy? You created that. You molded that. You morphed it. Like leaders of whatever it is they're doing are the ones responsible for what's happening. And we look and when I look at America right now, America is failing because people want to rule the world like a boss. America does not want to be a leader. Look at our Cheeto of a president of yesteryear where he said constantly preach this lie about COVID is not real. What do you mean it's not real? It's standing in your face. It's like, look at the numbers. People have been dying. Many people have died. Many people have gotten sick. Many people are in trouble. Many people are bleeding. Many people are reeling. Many people are suffering. How can you literally sit there and say it's false? Boss mentality. Not a leader. Cheeto. I hope you choke on a Frito. I'm just saying. Who can save our world? Literally. Not politicians, not government. Yes. Not politics, not government. Definitely not religiously cuz let's be real. I mean like 
Religion is important, but you can't let religion guide your logic. Well, the great Henry Ford will be appalled because he said in terms of doing what's right. Anyway. Have one worry about profits. Yeah, what's that? They will be embarrassingly large. Mm. Sir, this is a higher call. Does that make sense? We are here to work for a dream, not just a paycheck. Yeah, we are here to be fantastic. Money should be secondary, really. Not just transactional, but transformational. Wow, Profit I like this video. Be committed though. to the vision. And be committed to the vision. Alive. Vision before the money. On intention. Return on intention. So Hold up, man. Let's think about that. Return on intention. When you think return on intention, you should be thinking about if your intentions are pure and you're doing things the right way, the return is going to be that much greater. That's why community is better than numbers. Community comes before numbers because of the simple fact that community creates a much better investment. So for those of you that wants to become a streamer, think about that. Or those of you that's doing content creation, Think about that. Community makes you stronger. Okay, of course, I understand money's important, but the thing is, American society is ruled by the almighty dollar when it shouldn't be that way. It shouldn't be that way at all. If we're going to do anything the right way, we got to start thinking more like a leader because leaders are what we need right now. We don't need narcissists. We don't need that. Sincerely hope you change your ways. Change that spit. Obstacles. You teach a lot about leadership here. Yes. Mostly what not to do. Yep. Wait, wait. wait. What do not to so do. About business? And you said Sometimes stock? you think is Who is this guy? Is <laughs> our stock? Well, the truth is I lied. Oh, he I'm lied. Your employee, sir. Uh -oh. Who are you? You're mine. Ooh. I'm the founder of this company. You, you just been exposed. To <laughs> Tomorrow morning, first thing. I'd like to see you. Uh, Hell. Hell. <laughs> he like he licked the lips like mm, my lips are chapped. Oh my god, I'm dead. Choke on that water, boy. <laughs> hey guys, my name is Prince. That was a good Yay, video. Thank you for watching my video. So I worked on this project mm. with my friend. Let's Russell hear this Russell, man. Who's right here. We believe that everyone has a leader inside of them. We all mm. have a story to tell in a way that will inspire and impact mm -hmm. others. So if you want to be a leader or an entrepreneur, then Russell just came out with a book called expert secrets and we're gonna give it to you oh okay, okay. so is this kind of video so you selling a book my brother out to him in his dms and i really wanted to work on a project together so whether you want to be i'm going to talk about that in a minute or turn any calling into a career expert secrets will help you turn your knowledge this man your sells a book into a powerful message. This man is selling the, the book. The people around you. All right, I get it, man. I get it. I get it. You're selling the book. But mm, it's always something sometimes, right? But that's the name of the game. That's the name of the game. I, I will just say that. Now, despite the fact that this man is selling, trying to sell a book, the video is still worth watching. And it's, it did spit a lot of facts. Cause I mean, if you look at how 2021 is like, um, start, you look at how 2021 started, it's kind of yikes. Right. And then if you look at 2020, that was even worse. I mean, like terrible, 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 terrible. Um, and this whole boss mentality is the cause of a lot of the problems that we're dealing with right now. It really is. I mean, like, really, like, this is why America is failing, guys. This is why America's failing because people want to live this boss, 
the life of a boss, this boss mentality. You know, this canceristic cult of personality type bull, right? And you look at how our political leaders are conducting themselves is absolutely ridiculous. Uh, one of the biggest reasons, one of the major contributors to the failings of America, not valuing the people that they're, they are supposed to be responsible for guiding and protecting. I mean, they're letting people die left and right, whether it's due to racial differences or a freaking pandemic. They're not doing what's right they're not leaders they're bosses i'm just saying i'm telling you man like dudes if you guys are enjoying this video then make sure to leave a like subscribe if you're new and then leave a comment if you have something you would like for me to check out hey drop it in the chat just make sure it's appropriate you know just give me the title because you can't drop links in the comment section <laughs> and hey if you're enjoying my personality then make sure to follow me on twitch because twitch is where the action is and link to my twitch will be in the description section below and so yo man i'm i'm just telling y'all straight up right now things would have be so much better People would be so much more comfortable if we had real leaders. I mean, look at the rest of the world and how the, how they, you know, uh, you know, dealt with the pandemic. They they did a heck of a bit, lot of a. <clears throat> I'm trying to use appropriate words. They're doing better than America. Look at Australia. Australia is living their best life right now in the year 2021. I mean, they're literally walking around w without a mask because they're able to do it because they was able to dispel COVID mostly. There's probably a few areas that's probably still, um, you know, under the weather, but far better than what's going on over here, right? <laughs> so, yo, that's just... This is what we need, guys. I feel like if the bosses of today saw this video and they truly want to make a difference, they can turn it around. 